Hi, my name is Stefan Esser with RestoreHealthUSA.com and welcome back to our series on taking charge of your health. Today I want to talk about point number three in our list and that is get to know your medications. When I say medicine today, I'm referring not only to pharmaceutical products but also to herbal supplements, Chinese tinctures, homeopathic remedies and the like. So really use that word medications, think of all of those in your life. So the most important thing to think about is why am I taking this? Why do I need this medicine? Do I really need it? If it's something, for example, such as acne, and it's not really bad acne, do I really need it, need it? Or is it something maybe I just would like to have because it may improve how I look a little bit? When it comes to other things, such as perhaps I've just had a heart attack and I have blood pressure is totally out of control, then, yeah, sounds like you really do need this medicine to control your blood pressures. Next, are there alternative agents? Well, good question here always. Not only agents in the sense of different pills or medicines you can take, but perhaps even lifestyle interventions and changes that we can make in, as individuals that aren't medicines in the former sense of the word. For example, someone who has slightly elevated blood sugars, but it's not a pure diabetic yet. Do they really need to be on metformin? Or can they merely lose a little bit of weight, start being a little more active and eating more fruits and vegetables and have equally good side effects? So, something to think about and talk with your healthcare provider about. Do you really need this medicine? And if you need a medicine, are there alternative agents you can pursue? Next, if you are in fact on a medicine, what is the name of the drug? As a physician, I can tell you there's some, nothing more frustrating than when a patient comes into the office or the hospital and says, I'm on some medicine, doc, but I don't know what it's called. And I wonder in my mind, how can this person take a pill? They don't even know what it's called. It could be cyanide. It could be some kind of poison. Yet they don't even know what it's called. So don't be that patient. Know what the name of your medicine is. And as I mentioned already, obviously, know why you're taking it. Next, if you know the name of your medicine, get to know the dosing, how much you're taking, how frequently you're taking it. Again, medicines are serious things. They do, as the next point suggests, have side effects. So it's crucial to know how much am I taking. Why? Well, because if you are only taking 5 milligrams of something and suddenly someone gives you a prescription for 20 milligrams, it may be too much for your body. You may have a lot of negative side effects. So it's really important to understand how much you're taking of this medicine and how frequently. Is it dosing once a day? Is it twice a day? Is it three times a day? If your doctor says, hey, Joe, I want you to take this medicine, but you've got to take it four times a day, you might say, doc, I don't think I can take it that often. You've got to have a little dialogue there and say, can we find another medicine that maybe I only have to take once a day or twice a day and have the same good results? Something to think about. And our final point, how do I know if my medicines are working? This is crucial. I meet so many patients who have been on medicines for decades and you say, so what are they really doing for you? That's crucial. In the case of medicines such as insulin, we can look at blood sugars. And if your blood sugars are down, it means the insulin's working. You're at a right dose, we might say. Or if, in fact, your cholesterol has been elevated and now you're on a medicine for that, your cholesterol has come down, we know that medicine's working. Same thing with blood pressure and the like. Some medicines are there purely for prevention. So it's important to understand what are you looking for? What, how do you know if the medicine's working? So to review again, find out why your doctor or other health provider wants you to be on a medicine. Next, find out if there are other things you can do about it, other ways you can address the problem without a medicine. Or, if you need a medicine, are there different medicines that might have fewer side effects or cost less or be more available? If you're on a medicine, know its name. Next, if you know the name, get to know the dosing, how frequently you're on it, when you're taking it, etc. Know the side effects so that you can know, wait a second, I'm feeling really nauseated now, something's not right, or, or wow, I, I'm impotent now, what's going on now with that, or, or I'm having some hair loss, or other strange things that might be side effects from the medicine. Finally, how do I know if they're working? Keep all these in the back of your head, and if in fact you are on a lot of medicines, continue to talk with your healthcare provider on how you can reduce the number of those medicines, how you can improve your health overall, and how you can take charge of your health. For more great health tips, swing by RestoreHealthUSA.com. We want to be part of your journey. Let us know how we can help.